Hey there guys, as home growers don't get access to the sort of research information that the big commercial growers get with regard to how to optimize um, your, your crop, how to get the best quality, how to get the best yield, um, all that kind of thing. However, we are fortunate enough to have the Dr. Bruce Bugbees of this world working there in crop laboratory in uh, Utah State University. And him and his team are very generous with their information, even publish it at times in informal papers and come out with some really interesting guidance as to how best to, um, to as I said, optimize your setup and optimize your, um, your yield and your quality of yield. The most important factor, it seems, in terms of delivering high potency is temperature. And they have been studying this in Utah State in very sophisticated growth chambers. That is, they're able to do side by sides of different strains, keeping all other factors equal, i.e. the same, other than uh, temperature, and vary the temperature and look at the effect that this has on yield and potency. So there's a little bit of sort of on the surface of a contradictory information which you've got to get through. First of all is that the crop does grow faster at higher temperature. Um, so heading up to uh, between 25 and 30 degrees centigrade, that's up in the 80s of Fahrenheit, um, is where you want to be to get the highest growth rate. And what the guides advise is to, uh, to run at this temperature in the early stages of growth. And this is to get your plant canopy um, to fill out your plant canopy as quickly as possible. However, they warn that running at those higher temperatures can kind of stress or tire out your plants over time. So it's advisable once you hit that um, full canopy to dial it back down, maybe about five degrees centigrade or 10 degrees Fahrenheit, and to operate through um, sort of mid to late veg into about mid flower at that range. Now, this range, does depend on the strain. So they say that different strains prefer a little bit cooler, a little bit warmer. There's a range of about five degrees centigrade or 10 degrees Fahrenheit. What I'm gonna advise you is, is to, to be in the lower end of that range, just to be sure that you're, you're, you're getting the optimum for whatever strain you're growing. Now, as you get into later flower, the, uh, a problem then occurs when the buds and flowers develop they're quite large uh, in terms of mass, and they're getting, so of course, the radiated energy from the grow light. Um, in HID, i.e. with a HPS system, this can be uh, quite a lot of radiated heat, and the bud temperatures can be considerably higher than the room temperature itself. That can again be by three or four degrees centigrade or seven or eight degrees Fahrenheit. So to keep those bud temperatures down, um, we don't or we want to keep those bud temperatures down. So the advice is to lower your room temperature again by another five degrees centigrade or thereabouts down to in and around 20 degrees centigrade or 68 Fahrenheit. And we do this because as I said, the buds find a difficulty to lose that heat. And what happens is you get um, the compounds, uh, the volatile compounds, and that is your cannabinoids, um, but also your, your terpenes and your flavonoids will evaporate and um, you'll lose them. So by running at these lower temperatures, the, uh, the team have shown in their studies that you can maintain uh, the cannabinoids in those buds uh, to the end until harvest to have a much higher potency harvest. And they have here a chart showing the, uh, up, or showing the can percentage cannabinoids harvested from buds at different temperatures in that latter flowering stage. And you can see here that it uh, peaks at that lower by 20 degrees centigrade. And as you go above that, this is room temperature again, if you go above that, that you will get a reduction in cannabinoids in the final harvest. So new information, very exciting to have. Um, be delighted to hear anything um, that you have heard as well around this area because uh, I think it's fascinating. So here's your final chart. This is the implementation, uh, starting off warm and ending cool effectively, particularly in those last stage of flowering. So I hope this helps. Uh, any questions or comments, as I said, please leave them below and uh, take care.